The upsurge of conflict in many communities in Nigeria has been a source of concern to the government and citizens of Nigeria. Conflicts stemmed from causes like manipulation of religious sentiments to greed, selfish interest, ignorance, poverty, and more. This results in various ills like loss of lives and property, unemployment, trauma, a general instability and lack of progress. Development Exchange Center DEC with funding from Development and Peace Canada DNP embarked on a project titled with focus on communities of Moro, Akwanga and Ube Nasarawa Igong, local government areas of Nasarawa State. The project was aimed at strengthening structures in communities to be able to engage their duty bearers, resolve conflicts and other minor issues within them. The objective was to reduce the incidence of conflict in Akwanga by August 2018. Participants in the community have recorded progress, enhanced their knowledge and application of conflict resolution and are able to coexist peacefully and become more security conscious, know their rights, identify that drug abuse has reduced, engage duty bearers and service providers, and also identify and work with their stakeholders. There is also success in hygiene and sanitation promotion and improved relationship between erstwhile wearing communities. Uh, in fact, before they came, we have uh, a lot of issues in this community. Uh, the first one is this issue of uh, land disputes. Yeah, we have land disputes and we also have issue of drug abuse. And we also have issue of lack of development and water. Now the issue of land dispute. Uh, my dad and his brother are having issues because of land or they are clashing of land. My cousin will not talk to me because his dad and my dad are conflicting because of just a portion of land. So that issue has been a barrier in our community. But uh, the arrival of DEC in this community, they were able to let us know that for us to have, to, for, in fact, for us to have settled, uh, settlement of dispute in the court is better for us to settle it at home. Development Exchange Center held the first town hall meeting that was centered on the general interest of the people. Before Dex's intervention, the people only gather for social or political purposes. <laughs> Their capacity on scorecard development has been enhanced. They can now identify their problems and the relevant stakeholders and demand for their rights. Through the intervention, they have also benefited from DEC through hygiene promotion, conversion of well to local hand pump, and rehabilitation of borehole. Rapin 
akwe yanci diyawa yan siyasa suka zo muna samu ni dex sun zo yanda siyasa suna zuwa suna ba mu naira 10 naira 20 karbaka kaza kaza amma da dex sun zo suka zo na da mu lokacin da dex suka zo kusa zo na da mu gaskiya magidanta ba su kasance a meeting tare da su dex sosai ba sai dai wanda suka kasance yara ne da mata suka kasance daga baya muka duba da ce to bari mu maza magidanci mu mu dan sa kai mu mu ga meke meke tafiya to daga nan shine muka gane da cewa dex sun zo sun nuna mana yanda haka hada kai da nashuwa suka hada mana kai ababen da muna gani muna nuna wariya dex ta zo ta nuna mana yanda ana nuna babanci na muka ware babanci muka zo dex ya zo hada kai muka zama da ruwan da muka sha wanda bai zama na adalci ba wanda aledu suna wasa ma ciki a yanzu na dex ta zo ta gyara har muna sa mu ruwa mai kyau muna sha muna jin dadi one of the basic thing that we achieve as a result of the training that uh, was organized by DEC to us here. We initially we don't know anything about advocacy. And because we don't know anything about advocacy, even when we have problems that is bothering the community, we don't know the channel to which we are going to forward our request to our duty bearers. And because of that, the training organized by DEC, they educate us, they, they train us on, on advocacy. And because we acquired that training, we decided to immediately implement that idea that was inculcated in us. So far, so good. In fact, we are able to settle some issues. The first issue we settled is uh, uh, this issue of uh, land. Most of the issues in courts. People go to court now and say, okay, I'm no more taking a lawyer again. I want to bring it to my traditional ruler so that we can settle this dispute at home because of every week or every month we used to go to court, we pay lawyer, lawyer will not come, lawyer will adjust the, uh, the case, adjust the case every month, every month. You can, in fact, you, can, you continue to go to court, you continue giving the lawyer uh, court appearance fees. Second, we organize a peace work in this community starting from where our boundary is from Akwanga local government down to Asabe Guntu, down there. We march there and we also have, uh, we organize a football match, volleyball match, and also a uh, plane of Lido to bring people together. If I am not good with you, I will not come and share this joy. So we're able to uh, 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 combat most of this issue. And the issue of uh, when they came, they were able to uh, ask us to identify most of this problem. We have problems in this community, but we did not know that these are problems. But as they arrived, they were able to sit down with us, do all one small training, and we also sit down with them, deliberate. That is why we have this community scorecard. And in fact, uh, with DEC, I have learned a lot. Our community has achieved a lot, especially today's program. We have the representative of the House member, local government chairman, as a senator and rest member, you know, a lot of people. So we have achieved a lot in this community through DEC. I'm Longkon Danladi Daklak, the branch manager of Womba Branch Development Exchange Center. Uh, we have a program that is taking place in Womba branch from the social services department of the organization, which assists the women in having a group, form a group, which we will now call it the Village Savings and Loan Association. They contribute some small money among themselves and help themselves. It has really impacted on their individual life and as a community, which I know 
the program is also helping them to save for the rainy days. <laughs> I can say is these groups that are on ground, the Village and Saving Loan Association, honestly, from what I know, they are doing well. <laughs> The activities of the VSLA run in cycle of one year, after which the accumulated savings and profits are shared out among the members according to the amount they saved. <laughs> I <laughs> The <laughs> Uh, with the relationship we had with the Development Exchange Center, Bauchi, we've been able to gather small resources from them supporting our programming and uh, especially matters arising, which at a point in time uh, they had to come as partners on that particular program. And in between this period, uh, I must confess, 
uh, we've been able to touch the lives of so many people, we've been able to educate the people, the women, and of course we've been able to talk about peace and relationship that uh, especially uh, uh, towards 2019 that has to do with the elections and uh, so the various communities that listen to Option Radio very well and listen to that program particularly uh, they were educated uh, with it so it gave a lot of benefit to the listener and the various community and uh, I want to say above all my relationship with uh, Dick has also been able to open my scope because I've been able to learn a lot as a broadcaster or as a broadcast journalist. I've been able to learn a lot from our discussion. Especially uh, my very good friend, uh, one of the consultants that used to come from JOS, uh, talking about Mr. Mugu uh, Bakozaka. I've been able to create that relationship. He has been able to open my eyes uh, to so many things that I have learned featuring him uh, on the program. But also away from that, uh, the callers on the program have been able to also learn a lot because uh, I remember vividly in one of the programs uh, when the program was coming to an end at the end of August, they said uh, that uh, I should send a message to Development Exchange uh, Center, Bauchi, and as well as their supporters in Canada that a program of this nature, a program of this magnitude, should continue. Let me use this opportunity to appreciate Development and Peace Canada. Uh, for supporting DEC in providing the funds uh, for this project on strengthening uh, systems at the grassroots level. Uh, for us, uh, one of the significant changes we have seen as a result of this project is one, uh, community structures now has become more aware of their responsibilities and they are able to uh, take the lead in driving and initiating on things that affect the community and to call those who are a representative of that constituency in different uh, government uh, offices and leadership to demand uh, for the evidence of uh, democracy in their community. Uh, the, one of the key things is that in Nasarawa in particular, in Moro and Ube, one of the things that have continued to inhibit the development of the community is conflict. Uh, this lack of conflict and coexistence within the community. And uh, the other thing is the issue of youth unemployment, which has contributed in youth engaging in drug abuse and drunkenness, which has also contributed to violence within the community. Uh, these uh, issues, has, uh, as a result of this project, has brought a turnaround. Uh, with